Hello viewers, welcome to Elimi TV, a station where you watch and learn. I'm your teacher Phil and Stirit. Today we're going to look at Form 1, Lesson 6. Our topic will be on grammar and today we'll be looking at how nouns form their plurals. So at the end of the lesson, I expect you as a, less, as a learner to be able to define what is a noun and also to be able to describe how nouns form their plural. And so we'll start by defining what is a noun. Okay? A noun is a word, a noun is a naming word that describes a place, a thing, or a person. And we have different types of noun. <coughs> so we are going to, today we're going to look at how nouns form their plural. Form, how nouns form their plural. And we'll start by saying nouns form that form their plural by adding an S. We have words which form their plural by adding the word s. For instance, we have the word book. With the initial addition of an s, we have books in their plural. We have chair, chairs, bar to bars, cup to cups, shape to shapes. We also have, have we also have how nouns form their plural with the endings such as s, double s, sh. The shoe, the sh word which is a shoe word, the ch and the x, they also form their plural by adding es. Example of those words we have the word bush to bushes, church to churches, box with the addition of es we have boxes, glass with the addition of es we have glasses, gas with the addition of es we have gases. Else we have Nouns ending in O with a vowel immediately before the O form their plural by adding an S. That is, nouns ending with O with a vowel immediately before their O forms their plural by adding an S. Example of those words are the word like ratio to ratios, radio to radios. We have the word studio. So we have the vowel which is an I. We also have the word like studio with the addition of an S, we have studios, video. With the addition of S, we have videos, and if you look at the word video, before an O, we have the vowel E. So if we add E, we add S to the vowel, to the ending O, we get the word videos. Nouns also form their plural with endings with O, but with the consonant immediately before the O, they form their plural by adding ES. For example, we have a word like potato. In the word potato, we see our ending is an O, but before the O, immediately is preceded by the consonant T. And that is if we add the word potato with an ES, we have potatoes in their plural form. Tomato, we have tomatoes. Mango, we have mangoes. Volcano, we have volcanoes. Nouns also form their plural with an ending, with the words ending in an I. With a vowel before the I, they form their plural by adding an S. That is to say, if we look at the words such as valley, and the words such as valley, we have the ending with an I, but before the I, it's preceded by a vowel which is letter E. So if we get the whole word by, with an addition of an S, we get valleys, key plus S, we have keys, monkey, we have monkeys. Elsewhere, we also have nouns ending with, with, in Y with a consonant before the uh, Y form their plural by changing the Y into I plus ES. For instance, we have the word fry, comes fries, county to counties, baby to babies, lady to ladies. Nouns also form their plural. For instance, if the singular noun ends in Y and the letter plural and the letter before the Y is a vowel, we simply add an S to make it plural. For instance, we have the word lay to lays. If we look at that word lay, we have the ending with an I, but before the I we have a vowel which is an A, and so it forms their plural by only adding an S. So from the word boy, another example, we have boy, toy, we have toys. Nouns ending in F or FE form their plural by changing the F or FE to V plus ES. For instance, we have words such as a leaf plus. So with the word with the, such as a leaf, we're going to add 
v la v e s to their ending and we'll have a word such as leave so we are seeing that the f changes to a v thief to thieves wife to wives have to haves nouns also form their plural we also have those words that do not change do not follow each other but they change their form from their singular form to their plural form we have words such as mouse to mice child to children ox to oxen tooth to thief sheep remains the same woman to women uh, we also have uh, nouns from their plural we can have all those nouns that change their vowels for example the man to men we only see change of vowels goose to geese to to thief those are words that change their vowels we also have those that do not change at all such as deer species fish and sheep uh, for this and much more you can refer them to excelling in english book one third edition the klb assignment we're going to change the following sentences to plural you can attempt that we have the questions posted there and for this and much more, you can reach us on our social media platform. We have our SMS line on YouTube at Elimu TV, Facebook at Elimu TV, and Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. Bye. Thank you for the lesson.